this trap is called Siberian trap and this is a very interesting trap and this can occur in a practical game I'm telling you. Uh, so this trap in Smith Mora Gambit in the Sicilian defense has claimed many victims uh, on all levels uh, even probably um, grandmasters might uh, be a victims of this trap. So it seems though that white is just making natural moves and uh, then all of a sudden loses the queen or getting uh, or gets checkmated. Uh, I have myself fallen into this trap uh, during my uh, initial days of chess and um, it is it is so painful to fall into this trap. So let's have a look. White plays e4. Uh, we are back to the e4 openings after three d4 openings. Uh, c5. This is called a Sicilian defense. Um, d4. This is the start of the Smith Mora gambit. White um, threatens to occupy the center with his uh, center pawn. Uh, C takes d5. If, if queen takes d5, then um, there's knight c6 and uh, black loses a tempo. So the whole idea of um, the opening is rapid development. So uh, black plays c3, d6, c3, and knight takes c3. This is uh, the Smith Mora gambit, the, the uh, critical position of Smith Mora gambit. A gambit is when white or black sacrifices a pawn for rapid development. So white plays, black plays knight c6, knight f3, all natural moves, e6, try, trying to free this, uh, this bishop. Um, bishop c4, white develops this bishop to an aggressive square, queen c7 threatening to uh, play something like knight, e, knight d4, knight e5, uh, and you know direct uh, attacking this bishop uh, white ignores it and plays zero zero black again ignores it knight f6 we need to supporting the bishop now um, um, white has castled and developed three pieces um, black has not castled um, but he has developed two of his pieces um, and he has developed his queen and there is a big, uh, big, I mean queen is um, attacking the h2 square directly. So black plays, uh, white plays uh, uh, very natural moves but black has resources and he plays a natural looking attacking move um, and uh, it is said that you shouldn't play the same piece twice in the opening um, before you develop all your pieces. Um, blacks, this, these two pieces are not developed, but still he played knight uh, to g4. But there's a, there's a, there's an idea behind that move. Um, so the natural move could be like something like uh, rook to d1, or um, play something like. Um, bishop to d2, anything can be played but white played the natural move to drive this knight away from the center. He played h h3 which is a very natural move. He, the intention always is to this remove this uncomfortable knight from the g4 square. But uh, this, is a, this is falling right into the Siberian trap uh, and Black plays um, a beautiful move. Can you find the move? Uh, I'll give you five seconds to find the move. All right, um, white, black played knight to d4. Oh, so this is a beautiful move. Uh, it's got multiple threats and main threat is basically the, um, the checkmate on h2 because if White captures with knight d4, then next move queen h2 is checkmate. And if uh, white captures the knight, he loses the queen with knight e2 check. And if the queen is moved, then it, there comes knight f3 check. Queen, f, uh, queen takes f3 and queen h2 checkmate. So this is uh, uh, 
a very practical uh, trap which can occur in a serious game. So uh, try to remember this trap. This is called Siberian trap.